The Reserve Bank has cut rates for a second time in March, with the cash rate now at an ultra-low 0.25%. The board says it will be the last cut for a while, at least until the central bank sees progress towards full employment and inflation closer to the RBA's 2-3% target. The policy rates of the Reserve Bank of Australia, the United States Federal Reserve, the Bank of England and the Reserve Bank of New Zealand are all effectively at a quarter percent. Each of us are using all the scope that we have with interest rates to support our economies through a very challenging period. The rate cut is part of a suite of measures revealed by the RBA, including a $90 billion funding facility for commercial banks. Banks will be able to access these additional funds if they expand their lending to businesses. To encourage this, APRA has relaxed the bank's capital buffer requirements, saying, APRA is advising all banks today that, given the prevailing circumstances, it envisages they may need to utilise some of their current large buffers to facilitate ongoing lending to the economy. Assisting small businesses through this period will help us build that bridge to the other side when the recovery does take place. If Australia has lost lots of otherwise viable businesses through this period, making that recovery will be harder and we'll all pay a price for that. So it's important as a nation we address this. The RBA also launched a target for three-year government bond yields of 0.25%. This is well below the current yield of almost 0.6%. The central bank says it will kick off its quantitative easing program by purchasing government bonds in the secondary market starting Friday. So the Reserve Bank Board did not take these decisions lightly. But in the context of extraordinary times and consistent with our broad mandate to promote the economic welfare of the people of Australia, we are seeking to play our full role in building that bridge to the time when the recovery does take place. The moves from the central bank had little impact on the local market, with the ASX closing down over 3% and the Aussie dollar at the lowest level since 2002. Steph Nash, Sky News. And the Commonwealth Bank quickly passed on a 1% discount to small business customers. The bank's CEO, Matt Coman, told Sky News our economy will bounce back, but stimulus measures will be crucial. I think it's an important set of measures that were announced today, but it has to be part of a broader package. And as you would expect, we're working very closely with the government and Treasury. And I, I know that they're working on a number and I think they've already announced some very significant initiatives. And it's going to take a number of different steps from all of us to try and get uh, businesses through and make sure that we're there and in place to recover, which we are going to do. And we should all be optimistic about the medium to long term prospects of the Australian economy.